Hey, what's up, y'all? Thor633 here, doing part three of our drawing series. I guess Brandon went ahead and did part four, um, but that's his accident. And so, today we're going to be doing Obito with his mask. Just his face and the top of, top of his cloak, but it still looks pretty cool. And so, let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to start with... Oh, I'm really stuffy to get to you guys, I'm sorry. Is an oval. Like that. And the, make sure, like, it's kind of... The ra um, Oh, I don't know how to describe this. Make sure it's like a head shape. So, like, it's like, it's bigger at the top than it is at the bottom. It, like, it gets thicker at the top, and then it kind of thins down at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I can't hear you guys, but I'm sure you do. And so now, towards the left, you are going to draw a circle, like so. And you can shade that in. That looks nice. And... Now, just to get some basic guidelines, you can't really see his ears, so they kind of just look like that on Toby or Obito, whatever you want to call him. And I noticed that my mask is lopsided, so I'll be right back and I'm going to fix that. Okay, guys, I'm back. Just fix my mask a little bit. And I notice at the bottom what you need to do is put a little point like that at the bottom. And now you are going to start with the hair. So pretty much all it is is just like little points. I don't know if it's just me, but when Obito turns into Toby, it seems like he loses hair. He has way more hair when he is Obito. Can you put that and make him a little bigger? They're just a bunch of different size triangles, really. And there's your hair for you. And at the bottom, just make some, like, pointing down. Whoops, that's kind of sloppy. And there we go. And now, we're going to start working on the mask. And honestly, the mask is really easy for Obito. So pretty much what you're doing... Is that you're making lines that curve in like a spiral of sorts with his mask. That's too curved. Let me fix that. You just make a bunch of curved lines like that, really. Okay, and now just make a few more. And the ones at the top, you just make curved lines like that. Let me fix that. Just make it more curvy. Huh. The ones at the bottom are made too curvy, and the ones at the top are not curvy enough. So yeah, make them like that. That's pretty much his mask. And now we're going to go to his neck. Here, I'm going to move my paper up. We're going to go to his neck. And just make that 
like you would make an anime neck or a neck in general. And now his cloak, it's quite big. The top of it, the ne the, the collar part, it's about that big. And now you just make that. And um, actually make the bottom of that a little higher so it matches up with his shoulders. So about right there, but this still comes down. Tip of, tip of it just goes up there. And now you're gonna shade in his ears and his hair at the top. I'm gonna pause the video when I do that real quick. Okay guys, I'm back from shading up there. And now, we are gonna finish up here, put some lining on the cloak, and then just put the top of his little, oh sorry, there we go. Just put the top of his little cloak right there. And, yeah, there's, um, Obito for you. One thing you can do is put little, like, scratch marks and stuff in between the curves on his circles. Just put little scratch marks on his mask. Like, he's just, like, been in a fight or something. And thanks guys for watching. Hope you soon rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.